Good morning, cruel world. Today we're off for a run. Uh, so this is primary station, and we're going to run to Boyd. Not sure what's a good idea yet. Uh, it's already yeah, it's lunchtime, so we've got about five hours of light to get to the hut, uh, and that with a little shot. Here we go, just running, we've got a race now running through the uh, farm, they've actually got a tailwind, it's nice. Blustery all day, uh, we're seeing pheasants, ducks, deer, yes, an awesome place. But we're running right through it, through Omaru into the void. Alashka. Beautiful place. I just cruised along about 6.30 pace. Our packs weigh about 7 kg each. Just a Solomon XA25. Good for the kit. The Omaru Road. We go this way. We go around the base of that hill. The Omaru Valley. And it's been a stunning run so far. That's my favourite. Got about 9 k's in the last hour. Nice, just cruise along. Like That's the Omaru River, and we have to cross it. Just down here, uh, it's not not flooded. Awesome. That's great because the weather is pretty shit. Anyway, we're just to the river. One hour twenty-two minutes. It says it's uh, eleven point eight k's. So we're getting there. I think we got about. 30k to do it, but I reckon it's a bit on the light side. It's probably gonna be 40k all up today. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No ice this time. Last time I crossed it a lot across the river, fell in. Lost the phone because of it. Right. It's either wet feet or we walk on our hands across there. So when I come here last time, this entire island, everything, underwater. Yeah. Everything. And I had to go... Ah, oh, yeah, I went across here, and then you fight your way up to that marker way over there. A proper fight. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, lovely. Nothing better than getting soaked and wet. Hutch is behind us. One hour, one hour, one hour thirty. Uh, Twelve and a half k. So we're just gonna walk and eat a little bit. Carry on up to Boyd. Um, we we worked it out about thirty k, maybe a bit under. But I'm very suspicious because I find that tracks in the bush are only fifty percent longer than what they get marked out as. So. Could be in for a nasty surprise. Maybe a river crossing in the dark. Two hours in, sixteen Ks. I mean, rain the whole time, so we're getting cold. Actually, I think I might chuck a jacket on because cold. I don't need energy to keep you warm. I need it to run. Um, yeah, mate. Just cross Jack Creek. Wet, cold, hungry. 
not tired yet not tired yet 17 k's down uh, we just had a refuel just cruising still progressing best part of three hours in yeah starting to feel some fatigue heart rate's sitting a little bit higher um borderline high but we are we're nearly um pushing up to the mongarongi turn off so we're doing all right and we're just under three hours maybe another hour and a half to the hut maybe it's not raining but cold all my limbs are cold yeah still a really good run uh, run though this is an epic run I'll get to grab a bar out of my pack. One, oh, it says one or two hours. Chewing up the time, we're getting there. It is, uh, we've been running for three hours 11. Doing all right, 20, 22 k's to Mongarangi. Shit of a hot hill, that one. We're just climbing out, uh, up to the saddle. What do they call that? Come, come, wow, what the fiddle saddle maybe? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there, fellas. Nearly there. You can feel that breeze coming through the saddle. First time I come in here, I think I was 18, I walked in with my dad. I still remember saw my first seeker on one of these faces just just in here, prancing off. So that would have been 24 years ago. Very good times. There she is. Oh, it's puffing coming on that one. What a lovely spot. Under four hours to here. One last push. That's a Boyd. A long time since I've been here, so two water tanks. That looks like a new woodshed. Beauty. Bottle. Awesome. Dry. Let's have a look. Whoa. 
there, so four and a half hours to get out. There's a view. To ourselves, just how we like it. Eh? Rain setting in now. I'll just run over the gear that I ran in here with. Um, Solomon Pulsar shoes. I bought a piece of a towel to dry myself off. Hats. Running jacket, uh, 80 grams or 90 grams. Doesn't really keep you dry, to be honest. Short shirt. Socks from Timu, they're awesome. Um, this is a uh, Solomon XA 25 litre bag, which is pretty awesome. Uh, good for running. Yeah, pockets and that sort of stuff. We're going to get that fire going in a minute. Small can of gas, got the mug. Raros had two on the run in plus two bars. I'm going to eat all those bars tonight. So bring a little knife. That is my dinner. Korma, Korma chicken. Delicious. Um, two running drink bottles. Snacks. It's just all bars and sugar drinks, raros, head torch, um, stove, yep, sugar tea bags, electrolytes, nurofen, uh, sleep system through here. Pillow from Timu, Cedar Summit Zero sleeping bag and a sleep another sleeping bag lineup for extra warmth here and my clothes is two uh, one pair of long drawns two thermal tops pair of socks um, beanie down jacket and I feel as I've done pretty well I think fall up there was seven kgs what a nice spot eh I'll get me a cup of tea and sit out here in a minute That's our view this morning and it's starting to clear up, it's looking bloody good. Last night it was really rough, windy, rainy. Uh, so hopefully the river's okay, should be because it does move on pretty quick. Um, yeah, four or five hours out again. Packs are a bit lighter. Yeah, some views down there, down there. Yeah, beautiful isn't it? There's the airstrip down the bottom. Yesterday, this river looks like it's fear humming. <sighs> bugger, 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 bugger. She's fucking pumping. Is it dirty? It's about four times fucking walking pace. She's pumping. And she's dirty. Dirty and pumping. Pumping and dirty. We crossed just there yesterday. That was easy.
But we made it. We had to, uh, we actually walked upstream. We just slowly shuffled up, shuffled up, shuffled up, shuffled up, shuffled up, shuffled up here, dropped into a hole here, oh, and just lunged across and grabbed that tussock before we floated off. But it's all good, never got more than waist deep, but it was pumping, that's pumping there. Pretty gnarly, we're across. Bloody good, I'm pretty happy. This is the Monga, Mongarangi area. I just saw a deer before, it's pretty cool. Pined side of track, just took off. So Tori Hanaiti up there, in that corner. So we are making progress. Dirty and fast, but I've done this before. This is the Amaru Kaipo area. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make a plan. Get into it. Phones away for this sort of stuff. All the rivers are giving us trouble today. Oh, I got drowned in that one. Got tipped up. Usual story. It's always undercut on the banks. Just as you lose your footing, you just sort of take a lunge for the bank and hope for the best. Just a couple of metres of bobbing along, it's all good. It's all good. That's the last river crossing. Alright, here's some final views of Poronui Station. A stunning place. About 7 k's to go, I think. Uh, yeah, 7 k's. So, I shall gap it. It'll be a similar time getting out uh, than what we were in, about 4 hours 30. Yeah, nice. Good trip. Actually, one of the best trips I've done. I quite enjoyed that. Bloody good run. Bit of bad weather. Good running. Uh, nice hut. Dodgy river crossings. Always it adds an element of adventure to it. Can't make it too boring, can we? Alrighty, I'm out of there.